Hello, today I'm gonna show you some tricks that you can execute with StringCamera.net. StringCamera.net is a object-oriented, frame-by-frame, layer-by-layer, basic technology proprietary of PC Winsoft. Uh, it allows for greater uh, results in your video conferences because it makes you look very professional so I'm just gonna open here my professional uh, setup for a video conference so it just loads up it loads up the webcam as well and uh, the webcam needs some uh, adjustments so I'm just gonna do that and uh, here in the settings so that's about it so just click ok ok and ok so this is my setup I got my name my position here in the company this is me talking about what I want to do is to have a set of movies that I want to show you so what we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, create a movie effect so video files uh, new video we got here on D yeah PC Windows software yeah center symbols so I'm gonna have this movie and uh, the way I'm gonna work with it is I'm gonna have it I'm gonna have it in one quarter of the screen like this so and then I'm gonna add this animation uh, at position 20, well, insert a keyframe and uh, just uh, make it look, uh, get the entire uh, screen. Okay, and I want this frame, uh, when it reaches this frame, I want it to stop. So. And then I'm gonna create yet another frame, uh, keyframe to make it disappear. So what I'm gonna do on this frame is basically get it, get it lost this way. So what it's gonna do is it's in here, and then here. So that's movie number one. I'm gonna call it uh, movie. We want okay, so let's uh, delete that and uh, create yet another movie uh, effect. So, video file, yeah, new old video. You got to go around and find the video. So that's what I'm doing. We're gonna have here a second movie. So in this second movie, I want it to look. I want it to look like small, like the other one. Uh, I'm positioning it here, and then I want to at position twenty. I want it to and I'm gonna add a position 30 already maybe not uh, position 20 I want the position of this to take the whole screen and then I'm just centering it and then uh, I want the, this frame I want the animation to start okay and then on frame 30 
I'm just gonna disappear with the movie from so that's what happened so I'm gonna call this movie 2 movie 2 and uh, then I'm gonna add, add another movie uh, so let's uh, do a video and then let's head for the movie file uh, yeah. symbols then you get another movie so I'm gonna do this the size of it okay I'm gonna move it to this corner and then I'm gonna do this I'm gonna add the keyframe at frame 20 and on this frame I want the position to this frame right here I want the position to be the entire area and then centralize it and the animation I want, I want it to stop here and then on frame 30 I'm just gonna disappear with the movie out of there okay so suppose we can just start with uh, so I'm gonna call this movie movie 3 okay so I'm going to show you now how you can do a setup where you show movies so for example I'm going to add the mo movie 1 so there it is and then you got uh, movie 2 movie 2 didn't work so well don't know why so I'm just going to trash it up and I'm going to add movie 3 movie 3 is here uh, movie 2 had some sort of a uh, problem so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to go to movie 1 and I'm going to start playing it uh, here and then I'm gonna start playing it in here so that's movie one it's playing and uh, so suppose I wanna take that out of there uh, I'm just gonna do that do this and it disappears and then I got movie 3 which you can do the same thing the movie starts to play and uh, whenever I want I can have this movie removed from the video simply by uh, clicking the animation button here be done with that so it's being done so that's what I wanted to show you is that you can set up uh, many different scenarios yeah like movie 2 didn't work it didn't work for some uh, reason it was supposed to be in this corner Okay, and then in here it grows, and in here it disappears. I'm gonna say that. Say that, and uh, proceed. Showing you 
How cool this is, cause I'm gonna add now, uh, Movie 2. So Movie 2 is here, and I can play it. So it starts playing, but I can bring it to the whole screen. And then when I'm done with it, I can simply make it disappear. So, the movie goes out. So I think that's a cool setup. Uh, I'm gonna return every movie to its first position. And then you can see that you can uh, select any of the video files you play. I'm gonna start this movie one, uh, actually movie two. And uh, we're gonna play that again. So it's gonna start. And it's gonna cover all the video output. And as simple as it started, I can uh, take it out of there at any time, like this. So... A screen camera is dodging edge is very powerful. You can play around with movie files. You can uh, obviously get them all out of there uh, just as quick as uh, you want. So it's really uh, a power that it has. It takes a little uh, while to harness the power of a screen camera dodging edge, but after you do, you realize that you can move yourself into a whole new level, the next level of video conferencing skills. Screen Camera Dutchnet gives you the tools to advance uh, in your skills of video conferencing. Uh, it, it makes you look good and uh, that's about it for this tutorial.